Well, a new report just out today by the CDC says 25% of people in the United States are testing positive for the flu. Yeah, it's all a big deal with this year's triple demic. Hospitalizations are now on the rise and the number of people admitted for the flu are at the highest point that it's been in a decade. Flu hospitalizations rose 32% and that's just from last week. In fact, a number of cities across the country have started to put indoor mask recommendations back in place. This is an unusual flu season and it's being impacted by the fact that most Americans have been traveling and with cold weather have been indoors in smaller spaces and not wearing masks or taking the precautions that we did to keep flu numbers really low over the last two years. Our concerns now over shortages of medication, especially for children, as people stock up for what could be a long, long flu season. And I was telling you guys over the break that my parents both got it, mm -hmm. and that was that was tough. Luckily, they had the vaccine. Yeah, you said that they, your parents are older, which I'm sure is the case for a lot of folks. This is just a reminder: please get your flu shot because this year it's it's a brutal flu season. It is, and, I, and you were saying your dad got it, right? Yeah, mom and dad both. All yeah. right. Did you pressure them, or they just kids do it? got them? It, no, no. <laughs> no. They're, They're probably pressuring you. Yes, <laughs> always. <laughs> Did you do this? Did you do this? <laughs> yeah, right. always. Uh, certainly something to keep an eye on. But I, I think it's just top of mind on a lot of people's uh, lists right now, especially because the holidays are here. Absolutely. They want to be able to see their families. So it's uh, it's just one of those things. And if Monica were here, she would say, "Wash your hands. Wash your hands. Wash your hands." There you go. And as as a good tip too, after my parents got it, I got the flu shot, so That's I good. should have gotten it before, but oh well. Sorry.